Okay, so uh, the blue umbrella is uh, a very cute, uh, you know, and a very well done short. I think we can definitely say, Absolutely. like, you know, oh, I love this short. And, like, it's just uh, the fact that the whole city comes alive, yeah. and like, you know, to the the guttering all the way up to the windows. Like, it's just, and also you got all these umbrellas that are like walking around, like people who are like walking around after like you know a day at work or something like that, and or just on a night out or whatever. And, like, you know, you get to see this like this one blue umbrella that stands out from everybody else. And then you yeah, can see this red umbrella that like, stands out from everybody else, and like it's just it's a uh, it's uh, a love yeah, it's a love story, you know. Yeah, and so yeah. you have all of these umbrellas who are coming out after a rainy evening, and I think it looks like New York City, or maybe it could be any metropolitan. It could be area. anywhere, actually. Yeah, it yeah, could be any metropolitan area. Yeah. So um, there's a bunch of ba- black umbrellas, and then what sticks out is this blue umbrella, and then we on right next to him is this red umbrella, and so. The blue umbrella sees her, the red umbrella for the first time, starts falling in love, and then all of a sudden there's this huge um, separation between the two after they go their separate ways uh, because of their owners. And just when the blue umbrella's owner is going over to the um, the train station down below or the subway, whatever you want to call it, uh, he blows uh, you know really hard into the wind so that he can be able to fly off and meet up with the red umbrella. And along the way, the um, the gutter and and the 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 street um, you know um, uh, gutters and uh, various other things start to help him out and the buildings help him out too the the traffic cones help him so then eventually um, it gets run over by a truck and then starts coming back up and the the owner finds him and then finally we have the reuniting of the red umbrella and then the owners they go on a date with the blue umbrella and red umbrella together. I think you were even saying before that it reminds you a lot of 101 Dalmatians. It did, yeah. Like, it, it was quite a lot like that. I said, without Dalmatians, it's umbrellas. So, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. You so. remember how in um, in one of the shorts that we talked about that um, the one of the uh, artists was inspired by Dumbo when he did the uh, the partly cloudy with um, the clouds and how they were able to form the animals and such. Mm-hmm. M- maybe the person who made Blue Umbrella was inspired by 101 Dalmatians. Now, I think it, it, it does look like yeah, it's got some inspirations by that as well. And uh, there was something else that uh, you know it was also kind of reminding me of too. And uh, that uh, I mean, um, I thought you know when we got to the end when you know the umbrella got hit by the truck, I really thought we were, like. It's like, you know, like a red dream kind of like, you know, ending of it. Like, you oh, know, where, yeah. Where, you know, like uh, the dream isn't real and like, mm. you know, he just goes back to his moments into his corner. But no, like uh, they give it a nice ending. Which, yeah, they do um, give it yeah, a nice ending. Which uh, I don't know how realistic that would be. Like, you know, where, you know, two people like having to have like very like, colored umbrellas all of a sudden, like, you know, find interest with each other and find a cafe and like, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know, it's uh, everyone has different lives at the end of sure. the day. So, uh, but, uh, you know, like, first of all, like when it rains, you can see that it rains, you know, yes. when things are wet, you can see that it's wet and, you know, we can like it. It's so well done this short, it and is. so you know you can tell that you know uh, Pixar's going above and beyond for like stuff. Like uh, absolutely, that. especially since um, <laughs> oh bless Sorry. bless you, <laughs> bless me. Uh, especially since uh, you know at this point in time they've been making shorts for decades, and mm-hmm. they've really like mastered the art of lighting and effects, and they're able to culminate it together into um, a much more realized short. I mean, they've come a long way from starting off with the adventures of. Of Andre and Wally B and Red's Dream and uh, various others. So you can definitely tell that they have really mastered the craft. And uh, later on, we'll be talking about their second Oscar win for Best Animated Short, but that won't be until much later on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but in regards to the Blue Umbrella, um, I love the way it sounds. I love the way that uh, it's, um, it, it, it's, it's, it's shot. I love the way that, uh, you know, the, the graphics on it as well. Like, you know, it's, just, it, it's, just, it's a really well done Pixar. Yeah. Show, and I recommend it to anybody. Absolutely. Very similar to how One Man Band was better than Cars. The Blue Umbrella was better than Monsters University. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah.